Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this challenging algebraic problem. So we have x squared minus 5 is equal to the square root of x plus 5. And now because x plus 5 is in a square root here, and because you can't take the square root of negative numbers, we know that x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. And if this is true, then we know that x is greater than or equal to negative 5. Now I'm going to set the square root of x plus 5 equal to the variable a. So now I have the square root of x plus 5 is equal to a. Now because this has to be greater than or equal to 0, then this also must mean that a, this has to be greater than or equal to 0 as well. So a is greater than or equal to 0. So now we have our equation, square root of x plus 5 is equal to a. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to square both sides. So then if I do that, these two would cancel out. And I would have x plus 5 is equal to a squared. So now that I have the value of a squared, Now what I'm going to do is I am going to find the value of a. Well, the value of a, to find that, well, we already know that the value of a is equal to x squared minus 5. because x squared minus 5 here, this is equal to the square root of x plus 5. So if the square root of x plus 5 is equal to a, then so does x squared minus 5. So now, if this is true, then I can simply add 5 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to a plus 5. So now I have my, my value of x squared and I have my value of a squared. So now, if I try to find the value of a squared minus x squared, this is going to equal a squared, which is x plus 5, minus x squared, which is a plus 5. Now, to solve this, I can simply distribute the negative sign to a plus 5. So now I get a squared minus x squared is equal to x plus 5 minus a minus 5. And then these two will cancel out. So I'm left with a squared minus x squared is equal to x minus a. So now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is actually equal to a plus b times a minus b. So a squared minus x squared, this is simply going to equal a plus x times a minus x. And this is equal to x minus a. Now I can subtract x and subtract a on both sides. So now I get a plus x times a minus x minus x minus a is equal to 0. Now I have a plus x times a minus x. And if I distribute the negative, I get positive plus positive a minus x is equal to 0. And now I can factor out a minus x because both of these terms have a minus x. 
So by doing so, I get a minus x times a plus x plus one. And then this is simply equal to a minus x times a plus x plus one is equal to zero. So now this gives me two equations. I have a minus x is equal to zero and I also have a plus x plus one is equal to zero. Now for a minus x equals zero, if I add x on both sides, I get a is equal to x. So if we know that x squared is equal to a plus five, so, well remember, a is equal to x, so this means that x squared is equal to x plus five. Now I can subtract x and five on both sides, so I get x squared minus x minus five is equal to zero. And now I can use the quadratic formula to solve this, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So now in this case, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 5. So I have x is equal to, if I plug in these values, negative of negative one plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative one squared minus four times a, which is one times c, which is negative five. And we are dividing this by two times a, which is two times one. Now, if I simplify this, I get negative and negative one is positive one plus or minus the square root of negative one squared is one minus Four times one is four, four times negative five is negative 20, so I have positive 20 over two times one is two. Now I have one plus or minus the square root of 21 over two. So this is our value for x. However, the only value, because this is two values, this is one plus the square root of 21 over two and one minus the square root of 21 over two. One minus the square root of 21 is negative, so this wouldn't work. So our only value is one plus the square root of 21 over two. So now for my right hand side here, we have a plus x plus one equals zero. I'm gonna first subtract x minus one on both sides. So I get a is equal to negative x minus one. And then remember how x squared, this is equal to a plus five. So if a is equal to negative x minus one, then we get x squared is equal to negative x minus one plus five. Now, negative one plus five is simply four. So I'll now, if I add x and subtract 4 on both sides, I get x squared plus x minus 4 is equal to 0. So now I can plug this into the quadratic formula once again. I have x squared plus x minus 4 is equal to 0. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to negative 4. So I have negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared one squared which is one minus four times a which is one times c which is negative four all divided by two times one which is two is equal to negative one plus or minus the square root of four times one is four four times negative four is positive sixteen so i have sixteen plus one which is seventeen over two and now from this the only value that would work from here is negative one minus the square root of 17 over two because plus wouldn't work. So x is equal to negative one minus the square root of 17 over two and x is equal to one plus the square root of 21 over two are my two values of x. Yeah.